day 15, and we're going to continue with Genesis 6, verse 4, and the Nephilim. And uh, the various theories about who the Nephilim are, uh, quite simply put, they're, they're the ancestors or those from the line of Cain. They are the Cainites, so those who came from the line presented in Genesis 4. And of course, the Cainites would go on to be significant. Uh, but when you're reading your Bible, if it says the Kenite or Kenites, it's actually Cainites. So keep that in mind. The famous Cainites being Jethro, the most famous of all, the father-in-law of Moses, and Zifra, his daughter as a Cainite. And we know Yael was a Cainite. She was the wife of Heber the Cainite. Heber being the name, one of the names of Jethro and one of the names of Moses, actually, as well. Um, so we'll see here that the Nephilim also go by seven names, and one of them is right here, uh, Geberim. Uh, so the Mighty Ones or Heroes. Uh, so we'll get into this uh, right now. There's more clues that the Nephilim are, in fact, the Cainites, because Ha Nephilim here has the value 215, which is the same value in Gematria as Ha Kainim, the Cainites. So even in Gematria, it's a match, which lets us know these things are connected. And you can find the Cainites uh, listed in the genealogy of 1 mm, Chronicles 2.55 as part of the House of the Rechabites. Very interesting. So as I said, Jethro was called by seven different names. And Ruel, Yeter, which we'll get into, and then Yitro, Jethro, Hobab, Heber, as I said, which is a name that he and Moses both go by. Moses also go, has seven names, by the way. Kaini, which means Cainite, and Putiel. And here he's called Yeter, and he had seven names. What's interesting about that is, uh, this is in Hebrew, but they're referring back to our verse here, Genesis 6, 4. This is, and you'll see here that it says the Nephilim went by seven names. And then they list them here. And here is the list of seven names. And as, as we saw, there's Geberim right there. And here's Nephilim. So Jethro goes by seven names. He's the most famous Cainite. And the Nephilim go by seven names as well. Interestingly, if you do a search for Ha Nephilim, you'll find it ten times in the entire Hebrew Bible. But when you go through those each, you'll find that the name, or at least the combination of Hebrew letters that makes up the name Yeter, one of Jethro's names, is found alongside it in multiple verses. So in 2 Kings 25.11, you'll find it in the same verse with Ha Nephilim. Then in Jeremiah 39.9, Yeter. And in Jeremiah 52. 15, for instance, multiple times. So you'll see Yeter is always is found multiple times in the same verse as Ha Nephilim, and here again. And here we are in Judges 7, where you'll also find Nephilim. Here's Nephilim again. And it says here, now Midian, Amalek, and all the Kedemites, or B'nai Kadam, uh, it's like children of the east, we'll say, were spread out over the plain, as thick as lo locusts, and their camels were countless, as numerous as the sands on the seashore. So we have Midian here alongside Nephilim as well. What's significant about that? Jethro was known as the Kohen, or priest, of Midian in Exodus 18 and Exodus 3. Now Moses tending the flock of his father-in-law, Jethro, 
the priest of Midian, drove the flock into the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. Interestingly, if you take the Hebrew letters that make up the word Horeb and rearrange them, you get Heber, which is the name that Jethro and Moses share. So uh, just remember, anytime you're speaking of the Nephilim, there's a connection there to the Canaanites and Jethro. Uh, 